Okay, so um, in this case, the annotation or alignment w worked out to be um, a bit faster and it finished in about 12 hours. So we will now uh, download this. You just click here and you download that package that they will send you. So that should be now in our download folder once it's done. Mm, so it's this one is just 15 megabytes. Well, it's not just 50 megabytes. It's actually quite a lot uh, for these sequences. And we can open it up. Close this one and have a look. Here it is. Let's make a folder that we call sequencing. And we'll just have subfolders here for these sequences that we have. So uh, this one we called something like this. And we'll add that one in here. Yeah, so I just cut it from the downloads folder and I pasted it right here. And you can now. If you remember how to unzip a file uh, with a terminal, you could do it in terminal, but you can also just obviously double click this and drag it in here. This is, you know, uh, okay if you just look at one file, but if you want to automate things, um, then I don't recommend this. And as you can see now, <clears throat> it, it has all these different files. Um, let's actually make a folder for this stuff and call it TCRB SRA um, and have now this specific sequence in there okay um, now this is the information that you were interested in you can now you have a summary file here and you have different things uh, that have been annotated but for us the most interesting two are the three here which is the nucleotide sequences and the amino acid sequences number five right here so we can have a look inside there. I'll open up my terminal with Alt CTR uh, L and T, and we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and just uh, move into that folder. Um, this was TCRB folder, and we can now head and have a look into number three. Yeah. So this is. A bit uh, difficult to understand if you if you're just looking at it in your terminal. You, know, you you can see that this isn't very helpful. You can't really read anything out of this. So what what this is made for is <clears throat> one for bioinformatical pipelines that you've written, so that you don't actually open and look inside it, but instead you just manipulate it uh, via scripts that you've written. And you can learn how to do that at nextgenerationsequencinghq.com. But if you want to look inside it, you can also open up with something like Excel. Uh, in this case, we don't uh, have Excel in Linux here, but we have these open source um, <clears throat> Office equivalent, which is LibreOffice here. And you can also search for the, well, the LibreOffice writer is uh, something similar like Word, but we want uh, LibreOffice Calc, all right? So with this one, you could go file open, move to that sequencing folder, and open up that file when you do this it's going to ask you how should you how sh what what, um, what characters should it use to separate into the separate uh, into the columns to the different columns and uh, obviously there are different things you can use for example some files they just use commas to separate so wherever they find a comma they will separate they make a new um, <clears throat> they make a new column in this case it's tab so if tab is selected here you can see it'll it'll make it into the different columns and you press ok and it's gonna load it up now for 300,000 samples uh, reads like this this one has this is gonna be very make your computer very slow it's difficult to navigate inside there but we'll just do this in uh, just to just to have a look inside how this thing looks like all right if your computer is very slow actually go ahead and do this yeah you can um, See now I'm in the folder here where uh, where my files are, right? That we just downloaded, and you ca you can now go ahead and write in head, okay? And let's say you just take the first uh, default number of lines that it gives you for this uh, file. Um, uh, sorry, three, right? And then you go, you write this, you write this into a um, into a file. So you will, it will take the output that it gives you once you use the head command and it will write it into a file of your choosing. So we write nt.txt uh, if you want to. Okay, so now we'll have in this folder 
Do you see this? A file that will contain whatever head should have, would have displayed in here. So it will contain this. Yeah. So if you don't want to have, you know, 300,000 lines worth of, of, of things open in an Excel sheet or whatever, then you, you go ahead and you go ahead and do this. So your computer can handle it maybe better. So open it up here. Same thing. And you can tell here now we have just 10 lines and that is the default for, um, <clears throat> as that is the default for the head command. Now, um, we close this one. I just want us to look in here. And here you'll see now, what kind of information do we have? We have sequence uh, number, ID. We have the functionality, unproductive, no results or productive. Yeah, so this is important. And yeah, go ahead and look at look at all of these different things. Like you have the V region that's been annotated. So this part of that sequence is the V region, the variable region. You have right here, you'll have the CDR3 region. This is a very important region. And uh, now the, the next step is, you know, having a look into uh, this more further, analyzing this, having, you know, for example, uh, removing all the no results and uh, just extracting all the productive lines, um, putting that into a separate folder. And we'll do this in a separate video. So here you go. This is how you align your um, TCR data or your immune cell data with IMGT.